Hi friends, this is Kenny the Messy Soaper over at Royal Appleberry and today we are doing another impression mat soap. I am really digging this again. Now that I have new impression mats, I'm feeling, you know, the, I'm feeling the love again. So I want to come in with this one. I, I got inspired. Um, I was looking at some, um, Indian bridal and, uh, like special occasion wear and just this idea kind of popped in my head and already had this impression mat and I figured why the heck not so the colors that we are using in here this is Clementine pop by rustic essentials and then the colors that I am using here is aquamarine dreams by rustic essentials and the color here is purple galaxy mica by crafters choice found at wholesale supplies plus and then my base color is going to be uh, Voodoo by Mad Micas now. They used to be oils, now they're Micas. Um, so, and the fragrance I'm going to be using is Rose Gold by Rambleberry. Um, I played around with so many different scents. This one just felt uh, right. And I made some little embeds that I'm going to use for the top. So, um... I guess I could show you one. It's just little bits and pieces that I cut off and then this is kind of what I kept. So, let us begin. friends so we have our fragrance oil mixed in and it smells so nice it's very light but it's a very feminine light pleasant smell i love this it smells really really nice and this color came out the way i want it to so everything's working in my favor and i need a win because <laughs> i made three soaps today and hunty let me tell you they all gave me hell except for hopefully not this one so I'm go ahead and pour that down and I need everything to be nice and fluid because I need um I need for everything to just kind of meld in and flow together I don't need any issues so I wish I would have thought to use my shorter tall skinny mold but this will do it's gonna have to do um, I totally forgot that I was supposed to put this little bit of gold in here, but it's never too late. And trust is not a lot, not a lot at all. It's just really, um, accents. And I'm thinking, do I want to, no, I was going to save some for the top. Yes, I am. Not for drizzle, but anywho. <laughs> Uh, I'm just kind of thinking as I'm going. So my whole idea is not to have any color breakthrough on the sides of this soap. I just want it to be a pink wall. So. Give that a couple of smackdowns. And then I'm going to pour a little bit more of my pink in here. Oops, I'm shaking you guys up. And I guess my dreams of not having any color on the sides just went up in a poof of smoke. <laughs> because uh, that gold surely did get to the yeah, it's it's definitely on the sides, but it's not a lot, so I can I can I can vibe with that. So now uh Yeah, I really should have used my shorter mold, duh. Alright, well I'm not gonna fret, so anywho. 
I'm going to, oh my gosh. Oh, I'm supposed to be pouring close because I don't want any of this really to go to the bottom. I just want it on the top. All right, so I know I'm going to get yelled at. <laughs> I had to change my memory card and I went on and swirled this top. Um, I say I'm going to get yelled at because this top is very pretty and I'm going to cover it. Sorry. <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm definitely going to cover it just because I need to go um, with the plan that I originally had that makes sense to me. Although, that top is, I mean, brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. Why can't I get that when I want it? <laughs> but the top of this is going to be really nice though. So... I'm not too sad. Just gotta figure out the best way to do this. Sorry, that bowl's in your face. Okay, so I'm gonna have to scoop this on. It's not gonna pour. I really, I probably should have saved a little bit more but oh well woulda coulda shoulda shoulda woulda coulda whoops why do I keep dropping soap on my shirt and that's that so Gabe we just had our first barbecue of the year first one of the year and it is good 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 mm, that's what now I just want to throw this soap to the side and go eat <laughs> thank you honey Sorry for smacking all in you guys' ears, but it's delicious. Alright, so I'm going to finish cleaning up this bowl and then I'll come back. Okay, so now that I have that all in there, I'm going to try to cover up most of this. Now, like I said, I know you guys are mad <laughs> at me for covering that beautiful uh, design, but I think you're going to like this. Because I wanted to stick with the theme of the Indian attire that I saw, or inspired, that inspired me to even do this. So now, I'm going to go ahead and put these little gold doohickeys on. Alrighty, so I made these little bags. Almost, almost like little henna bags. I lost my gold. There it is. Um, I don't really know what design I'm going to do. I do know how to do henna, but I don't think I'm going to be able to do it on here just because it's too low. My soap is too low. Or the sides are too high. Whichever way you want to look at it. But what I will do is I think I wanted to do that, but it's starting to set up now. So... I just think that just kind of adds a little interest to the design. Okay. Yeah, this camera angle is quite weird just because it's always in your face. <laughs> but we're working on that. Okay.
Okay, I think that's all I want to do for this top. Um, well, no, that's not all. Uh, this is all as far as all of my little squigglies. I gotta look at it, turn it my way so I can make sure that everything makes sense. Yeah, I think it makes sense. Now we need to put some glitter on this puppy to tie it all in because um, you need to. <laughs> okay. So, okay, so I got this uh, goal from New York Soap Making Soap Soap Supply, which they're not in business anymore. But this is what I'm going to do with this. All right, guys, so that is it for this soap. I hope you like it. So I'm going to give you a close-up. Um, there it goes. If you do like it, please be sure to give a thumbs up. Um, the cutting is coming up right now, so stick around. And I really do hope that this turns out the way I saw it in my mind's eye. All right, guys, um, stay tuned for the cut. It's coming up right now. Hey guys, so I am back with the cutting of this beautiful soap. And, 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 let me just say, I'm so madly in love with it. <laughs> so, here's the top. And then the sides. Oh my goodness. Check it out. Check it out. Check it out. <laughs> I love the way this looks. And I see more and more people are doing the side soaps. Um... It's kind of cool to see what you guys are doing uh, with the impression mats on the sides. Ooh, ouch. Um, yeah, I watched it's been a couple of soap makers that I've seen do it. I'm just like, okay, cool, cool. But, anywho, um, I've seen some really, really cool soaps, especially uh, Birch and Blossom. She makes some beautiful soaps. Um, even Clio Sheeta made a, a very, very gorgeous one. But, so, I am just, I don't want to cut it. <laughs> But I have to, so I already cut a little in off. I cheated. Um, this is what I cut off yesterday, and I was thinking to okay, so well, I can show you on this piece. This little bump right here is because the impression mat was um, the width, so it left this part. And I was thinking to cut it off, but I'm like, you know what, I'll leave it, it's gonna look like a T. <laughs> I was gonna um, plane it off, but we'll see how I feel. If you get it, you'll know if it's there or not. But let's go ahead and cut this out. Hope you guys are having a fan fantastic day. I oh <laughs> yes, I am. Look at that. Okay, so I think I say in the making, it's been a while that I wanted just very little swirls. I didn't want a crazy, crazy swirl. So this is beautiful. I think that works lovely. And this soap and that aqua. Ooh, that is beauteous. Look at that. It's giving me life, y'all. Yes, it is. Okay, so now that I see the soap cut, the tea is going to stay. I call it the tea. But it's going to stay. It actually looks pretty good. So, it's staying. This soap is available now. So, if you are interested, you can head over to my shop and get it. And this smells so beautiful. This is Rose Quartz from, oops, I'm banging my soap. From uh, Brambleberry. And it just works perfect with this soap. I think this is a very, very pretty soap. It really is. I love it. I'm going to, like I said, I think I said in this video, I can't, well, again, guys, I don't remember what I said, but I am going to start doing more of my impression matte soaps. Just because there's just something about them. I just love it. I really, really do love it. <sighs> Those beautiful dainty swirls are just really, really, really doing it for me. That soap is just gorgeous, like for real. For real, for real, for real. I'm definitely going to make this soap again. Same design. <laughs> I might do a different um, uh, background or like base color. But I got to do this again. This is so beautiful. Yep, so those swirls are absolutely perfect for me. Like I said, I didn't want a whole bunch going on. Because 
sometimes less is more you know and if I did the sides and the top and then a whole bunch of swirls in the middle I think it would have just been overkill but these perfect little swirls are just enough they really really are just enough this Michigan weather needs to get its act together um, this is actually May 9th, 20, May 20th. Yeah, May 20th. Um, ooh, this, this weather, like for real, stop playing. Uh, yesterday it was 84, 80, 87 and today it's 57, like for real. <laughs> Just be glad if you don't live in Michigan and it's crazy Michigan weather. Just be happy if you live it. Uh, matter of fact, Megan <laughs> over in California, butter bean chop, you know what I'm talking about. Yeah, she lives in California, girl. I wish. But, yeah, so. Very, 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 very. Uh, you didn't see that. <laughs> I dropped this soap. Oh, okay, all is good. No damage. We're good, we're good, we're good. I love that swirl, though. It's so, it's just so dainty. Oh, my gosh. That's beautiful. Is that a... Look at that. How cute. <laughs> that is so cute. It's like a moth. <laughs> Not quite a butterfly, but like a moth. But they are pretty. Man, those are very, very pretty. Okay, let me make sure I'm putting these back in the right order. Which I am not. Now, how did I go and jack that up that fast? Okay, there we go. And this soap had a lot, a lot, a lot. Okay. I I wish I could think of um, her name of her company. She's on Instagram. I love to give credit. Anytime I get an idea or inspired by somebody, I'm going to always give credit. But oh, uh, it's right at the tip of my tongue, the name of her Instagram. She makes humongous amounts of soap. You probably know who I'm talking about. But if you know it, put her name in the section, in the comment section, because I do want to give her credit. But she makes these humongous slabs of soap. And if they have uh, soda ash, she'll take them and put them in the sink and uh, run really hot water on it. And it gets rid of it instantly. Thank you, love. Oh, my gosh. It's driving me crazy because I can't think of her name. I really want to give her that credit. But um, I did the same with this. And the key is to wash it with hot water before you take it out the mold because the mold acts as a sill on the sides to keep the sides from getting wet but it uh <laughs> man the name of her shop is right on the tip of my tongue that's so annoying but um yeah um it, it really does work because this soap had really ashed up on the top i'm like oh that just really messed up my design and you can steam it and steaming does work but it doesn't get it all off completely you can actually see the ash run off with the water i'm like oh okay so yeah <sighs> this soap has really made me happy and i just thought i really wasn't gonna like this shape but this little tea <laughs> It works. It really does work. So, okay, you see it's light pink. It is going to darken to the darker pink around the edges. <sighs> yes, my day has gotten just that much better just from cutting this soap. You guys know what I mean? When you do something and then the outcome is just what you, over what you expected, it just puts you in a really, really good mood. So, this soap has done just that for me, especially those swirls. I was hoping they didn't go any further than that. So, anywho, um, I think I said in the making, but <laughs> if I did not, um, so I am trying to reach a goal of 50,000 subscribers for 2019. If you have come to my channel and you like my style, my vibe, how we roll over here, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Become a part of the SAC, which is a stinking awesome crew. I would love to have you. We have so much fun over here. We're always doing something kooky. <laughs> um, I love my subscribers. You guys are freaking awesome. You know that. Um, the ones of you who are always here and that's been rolling with me since day one. Oh, I love you guys so much. All the love. All the love. And we just love it on each other and support each other and just always doing something fun over here. So, yeah. Subscribe if you have not. It's absolutely free. And help me reach that goal because I know you guys can do it. And also, hit the notification bell if you want to get post notifications of whenever I post a new soap. And also, give a thumbs up if you like this. This is beautiful. I love it. I mean, like for reals, I do love this. So, how many do I have? Two, four, six, eight, ten. So, 
I gotta think about this one. I was gonna chop it up and use the samples, but hmm. No. <laughs> I do have a little piece that I'm going to give away for samples. I think this little boogie right here I'm gonna save for myself, or I do have one person in mind. You know who you are. Okay, guys, love hugs and kisses. Be awesome and amazing at everything you do. And I'll see you guys in the next making video. Bye.